The principle of least privilege is a cybersecurity concept in which a user or system process is granted the minimal access rights necessary to perform its specific tasks. The goal of the principle is to reduce the risk of unauthorized access or malicious activity by limiting the potential damage that can be caused by a security breach. This is typically accomplished by providing users with only the permissions and privileges that are required for their job functions and revoking those privileges when they are no longer needed. There are several ways to implement the principle of least privilege in a computer system or network. Role-based access control. This approach assigns users to specific roles within an organization and grants them access to only the resources and functions that are necessary for their role. Access control lists. These are used to specify which users or groups have access to specific resources, such as files or network shares. Least privilege user accounts. These are user accounts that have the minimal set of privileges necessary to perform their tasks. This can include things like running specific applications or accessing certain files. Separation of duties. This approach divides sensitive tasks among multiple individuals to ensure that no single person has too much control over a system. Security auditing. Regularly monitoring and reviewing the access of users and systems to identify any anomalies or suspicious activity. Least privilege in operating systems. Implementing the least privilege access control in operating systems involves giving the least privilege to the application and services running on the operating system. It's important to note that implementing these methods require a continuous monitoring, review, and maintenance to ensure they are working as intended and that the access controls are still appropriate to the users or systems that needs them. Thank you for watching our video.